Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. A just state government of commence demolition of uh, properties on government land along Benin, Obazagon, Obagie, Okoroma, Axim. This is the problem that we in diaspora majority of us are facing. And I can attest I can testify to this that eighty percent of this project or the, all these properties belongs to the those in diaspora. The reason why I'm showing you this wonderful video is that we in diaspora should please before we buy any properties in the do state, we should make sure we carry out proper investigation because this thing is not easy. Over 160 something houses is going to be demolished in this vast task of land. And uh, from the information released from the state government, that the state government acquired this land in 2017. And uh, this area is a federal forestry area or the state forestry reserve but i think most of this community people are believing here it's even before 2017 because i have properties around this area of which i bought a land in this area in 2009 but if government comes now to buy a properties in this area in 2017 and that is laying claim that it owns the land i don't know how until we will see but one the reason why i'm coming up with this issue is that we in the hospital we should please unite if it is true that government bought this land from this community fine but those that sold this land to the government should be brought to book because because it's not that because the government is involved that we should fold our hands how can you say you bought a land in 2017 and the uh, people have stayed in this community for such for such a long time and you are demolishing over a thousand hectares of land that calls for questioning and uh, those also that normally sell land for two persons the community head your John Wade, your Kaihele, the youth chairman and whatsoever is your name if we cannot do anything now by folding our hands, always believing that it is, I'm not affected, it's going to be shame upon us in the diaspora. I think this is the time when the diaspora should unite, not in mount. Look for a better legal practitioner that can represent our interests. Whosoever that is playing tricks on us, whether the community, whether the state government, anybody that is involved, I don't care. Without from the uh, chief time scene area, any area, because you cannot eat your cake and have it. Because this thing is too rampant now in Edo State, and this thing hinders development. You don't expect someone to pay for a properties because ah, just look at this project. You will see the massive building. This is not the first time, it's not the second, I think this is the second time this year poor uh, property has been destroyed but nobody cares uh, just after two or three days everything is swept under the carpet Every, everything everything just died down just like that you know what is the cost of a bag of smith you know what is the cost of a trip of sand now you know what is the cost of a grand net even we here in diaspora we, we are also struggling to take care of our family and at the end of the day, the little one that we sent home is being mismanaged. And it's so shameful and it's so painful. I saw these uh, properties today. As, let me tell you, my heart bleed because I know what it cost. And that is the reason why I am doing this video. Whosoever that is involved, if you see this video, please share it. At least it's time when diaspora should come together. I think this is the time, this is the right time. 
because someone sold this land to these people. These guys that bought, they, that built, that are already building in this place, they bought this land for someone. Before the government comes and destroy this project, why not arrest those people and prosecute them and let them vomit every penny? Most of them are living large and most of them are even political boys. I don't want to mention names. Majority of them are the political boys. Both APC, PDP, name it. Please, I think en enough is enough of this nonsense. Enough is enough of this nonsense. If you guys do not really want us to invest in the state, just spell it out. Spell it out so that we know. You don't expect someone to invest millions of naira in a project and at the end of the day, you will just come there, no court order, you only mark it. I saw that uh, you, it's been marked for demolition. No court order. No, I, I, because I, I saw today in AIT, I think a court is going to restrict the demolition. But it's too late. What of those that lose their property already? It happens before, it's not the first time. Please, Edo in diaspora, let's wake up. Let's challenge whosoever is involved, whether the community head, your Dionwe, the Okaele, anybody, your hands. We, if we say let's challenge them, not just by uh, going on rampage, let's go and do this with the law. Because I remember when Okof uh, Oromi went to representative or whatsoever, he was, he, he was there with his lawyer. But we always do our own with our mouth. That is very bad. Thank you.